In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Bloodborne on PC with the Shad PS4 emulator. This is a new version of the latest guide I had a few weeks ago, because shortly after I made that video, the BB Launcher Mod Manager tool got updated and there is a feature now in there to extract the PKG files of the game. So this makes the setup process a lot easier now. This new video will cover all of it and the best settings for this game. And because of YouTube guidelines, you must obtain the PKG file of the game and the update 1.09 by ripping your copy to the PC or sailing the seven seas with Google search. Let's get going. First thing we're gonna need is Visual C++. The link for this page is at the description of this video. You can select any of these options here to download the file, it doesn't really matter. So click on the first one, for example, to download the file to your PC. The next thing is the BB Launcher Mod Manager. Link is also at the description, but to download this file, you're gonna have to register on this website. If you don't have a account here, go ahead and click on the register option. And you just create your account like you normally would, typing your email and then proceed with your account creation. When you create that back at the page, scroll down to the bottom and the file you need is this one, BB Launcher Mod Manager for Windows. Click the manual download option and in here, select the slow download option and wait for the download to start. Now with the files in place, we're going to start with the Visual C++ installation. This is a zip file. We have to extract it. So you just click on it with the right button of your mouse, select the extract all option and then click on extract. You will get this new folder. And at this point you can delete the original file. We're not going to need it. Click on it and select shift delete on your keyboard and click yes. Double click on the folder. There's going to be a bunch of files inside. And the one you have to open is this one that says install all. So just double click on it at the security warning window. Click on run. Don't worry. This is safe, by the way, no harm in this. And now just wait until it installs everything. When it's completed, it will close by itself. So you can go back to the main folder and you can delete the Visual C folder as well. Now for the BB Launcher, it's the same thing. First, we have to extract it. So right click, extract all, select extract. There you go, delete the original file. Double click on the folder and inside there is a single application file. So double click on it to open. Your Windows will say that the file is unrecognized, but don't worry, this is safe to use. So just click on more info and then run anyway. You will get this warning screen because we don't have any builds of the emulator. That's normal. So go ahead and click on OK and select OK once again. This is the BB Launcher Mod Manager. First thing we're going to do here is download the emulator right here on Shad PS4 build. Select Manage Builds. This window will open. And at the right, you have the available versions of the emulator. The one I'm going to recommend you to get is pre-release because this one has all the latest enhancements and fixes for the emulator. So click on it to highlight it and then click on download selected version. Then you can select where you want to install the emulator folder. And I'm just going to select the same BB launcher folder we have been using all this time just to keep everything in one place. So click on the folder once and then click on the select folder option at the bottom right. It will ask, do you want to download? Click on yes. Now just wait until this is finished. The emulator version will appear and make sure you click on the box right next to it where it says selected so that the manager uses this build of the emulator. In case you want to try different builds of it for some reason, if you're getting errors or something like that, you just have to do the same thing. Click the version you want and then click download and select that version right here on the middle. When you're done, you can close this window. Now for extracting and installing the PKG of the game, I have here with me in a separate folder, the PKG file of the game itself and the PKG of the update. You need both of them in order to get the best of the game out of this emulator. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you must obtain these files on your own because if you show how to download games on video, YouTube will delete your video and strike the channel because it's basically promoting piracy and that is not allowed here. And you can do that by ripping your copy and update of the game or like I said, you could sail 
the seven C's with Google search. So I'm going to move these files to the same BB launcher folder, but you don't have to do that. They can be anywhere on your PC. But what I like to do here as well is on the BB launcher folder, I'm going to click on it with the right button, select new folder, and I'm going to name this folder game files, but you can name this whatever you want. As long as you know that this is where the extracted PKG of the game will go to. So now you go back to the BB launcher and you're going to select the PKG extractor option. In this window, the first option, select PKG to extract. You're going to click on this browse button. Now you have to navigate to the location where the PKG of the game and update is, and you're going to start with the PKG of the game. So double click on the PKG of the game once to bring it here. Now select browse for the second option. And this is where you want the game files to go to. In that case, the game files folder I came up with, right? So click on it once and then click on select folder and we're ready to do this. So just click on extract. Now you just have to wait for it to install the PKG. When it's done, click on OK. Now you have to do the same thing, but for the update file. So click on browns once again, locate the update file, double click on it and then click on extract again. It says, would you like to apply patch? Yes, of course. And since this is a smaller file, the installation will be much quicker. Hit OK, and you can close this window now. Now we have to select the folder in the BB Launcher where the extracted files are. It's the first option here, install folder, click on browse, locate the game files folder, double click on it to open, and you're going to select the folder that doesn't have the patch name to it. That is the main game folder. Click on it once and then click on select folder. And there you go. It will appear right here. Now we're going to tweak the shad PS4 settings to get the best performance and stability on the emulator. And the option is this one, shad PS4 settings game specific. It will say no configuration file found. Go ahead and click on yes. And this window will open. And in here, the first option is enable shader cache because this will help with the stuttering that this game has by a lot. Next, under select GPU, click on auto select and make sure that you select your main GPU right here. In case you have a CPU with integrated graphics like the one that I have here, you want to make sure that you click on your dedicated GPU. Now, if you are planning to increase the resolution of the game from the default native 1080p option, before using the patch for that, you're going to head over here to game specific and experimental settings. And this is the setting right here, additional memory allocation. For increasing the resolution of the game, it is recommended that you have a GPU with at least eight gigabytes of video memory. You can still increase the resolution, however, if you have a GPU that is not that powerful, but then the game will be more likely to crash that way. So it's still experimental and crashes can still happen either way. But if you have a GPU with at least eight gigabytes, it says here to set to 5,000 plus, but the recommended value here is at least 8,000 megabytes. That is for 2K resolution or higher, because just like on the PS4, the native resolution of the game here is 1080p. But keep in mind that this option is only if you are planning to increase the resolution of the game, because this is what it's for. If you're not going to do that, then you can keep this one at zero. When you're done, click apply and then save. Now we're going to enable the custom patches for this emulator, which is where you can increase the resolution and also enable 60 FPS and a few other things. So go ahead and click here, Bloodborne Cheats Patches. On this window, select the Patches tab, and at the bottom, make sure that this is set to Shed PS4, and then click on Download Patches. Click on OK, and there's a bunch of patches you can choose from. The first one, Skip Intro, is self-explanatory. This skip all the intro logos of the game to get you straight into the menu as soon as you hit Play. Disable Chromatic Aberration and Motion Blur do not affect the performance, however. These two are optional. I personally like to turn it on because I don't really like those effects. Now, this patch here is very important and necessary if you have a Intel CPU from the 12,000 series or higher. If that's the case for you, you must enable this patch right here. Otherwise, your game is going to crash a lot. 
but only if you have one of those CPUs. If that's not the case, do not activate this patch. And below that, if you want to play the game at 60 FPS, if your PC can support that, that is, enable this one here as well. Now, below all of this, we have the resolution patches. And like I said, the native resolution of the game here is 1080p. And that's why you don't see a 1080p resolution patch in here. So if you're planning to increase the resolution of the game, and if you activated that additional memory allocation option from before that I showed you, then you just have to select the resolution you want to play in here. Just make sure that you have only one resolution patch available at the time. When you're done, click Save, OK, and you can close this window. Now we're going to get the Vertex Explosion Fix mod, which is currently the only must-use mod that you need for the emulator. And we can do this through the BB Launcher Mod Manager. So to do that, click here on the Mod Downloader option. In this window, click on OK. And you're going to have to log in with your account from Nexus Mod in here as well. So just type in your email password and then click on Login. And at this Vortex window, click here where it says Authorize. And just like that, it will take you to the mod screen. And by default, it should already select the Vertex Explosion mod. So when that's selected, click here Vertex Explosion Fix and then hit the Download button. Click OK once again. It will take you directly to the mod page in Access Mod. So you just click on this low download button and wait for this to start. Now it will download the mod for you. And there you go. Click on OK and you can close this window. Now to activate the mod, select the Mod Manager option. Click on it. The mod should appear right here. So click on it to highlight it and then select Activate Mod. And there you go. The mod is now activated. So you can close this window. And we're done with this part. The last thing we got to do is configure your controller or keyboard to play the game. And this emulator supports pretty much all the controllers out there from PlayStation and Xbox and even third party controllers as well. So if you don't have your controller plugged in, go ahead and do that right now and then click on the controller icon. And if your controller is supported, you're going to see showing up right here. And the emulator will do the automatic mapping for you. So you're pretty much ready to play the game that way. But if you want to change individual buttons, you just have to click on the button you want to change and then press that button on your controller. Pretty straightforward to use, right? When you're done, click on apply and save. If you're going to play with a keyboard, you just have to do the same thing. Click the keyboard icon. By default, it's already working, but you can change individual buttons as well. And that's it. We are ready to play the game. And to do that, just click here on this play button and the emulator will open. On your first boot, it will likely take a few seconds to actually start. And there you go. To go full screen, press F11 on your keyboard. Also, because we are using the Vertex Explosion Fix mod, this will disable the face customization options for your character. So if that's not working for you, don't worry, that's intended because it is currently the only way to get rid of the Vertex Explosion glitch that happens in this game and the graphics just get completely messed up. I have many emulation tutorial videos like this on the channel, so if you like what you saw, don't forget to check out my other stuff, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.